How do centrifugal pumps work? What are centrifugal pumps for? And what are the basic principles of their functioning? We will find out in this lesson. The centrifugal pump is the most commonly used pump both in the industrial and civil sectors. This type of pump converts rotational energy of its impeller to energy in a moving fluid. So, it transforms the mechanical energy coming from its engine, first into kinetic energy and then into hydrodynamic energy in a moving fluid. The basic principle of centrifugal pumps is to transport volumes of fluid from a region of low pressure to a region of high pressure. Thanks to this scheme, we are able to understand how this happens. At the bottom of this scheme, we notice the first reservoir containing a fluid, in this case, water. This reservoir represents our region of low pressure, while the reservoir at the top represents our region of high pressure. Thanks to the functioning of the centrifugal pump and of its inner impeller, the water will be transferred from the lower reservoir up to the higher reservoir. Initially, a part of water is already present inside the pump, and when the impeller starts rotating, the water is cut off by its blades, creating a region of low pressure. The pressure inside the pump is much lower than the pressure inside the lower reservoir, so there is a consistent difference between point A and point D. Thanks to this pressure difference, the water is sucked into the pipe and flows from the lower reservoir up to the pump. Now, I'm going to explain to you how the water flows from the pump to the upper reservoir thanks to the rotary motion of its inner impeller. To do it, I will use the Bernoulli equation. When the water is sucked from the lower reservoir due to the pressure difference generated by the centrifugal pump, there is some entry loss which is a pressure decrease of water while it is entering into the suction pipe and a pressure decrease of water while it is flowing inside the suction pipe due to the friction of water with the inner surface of the pipe. The same thing happens during the next phase, which is some losses while the water is entering into the upper reservoir as well as it's leaving the pump entering in the delivery pipe and some losses when the water is flowing inside the delivery pipe, always due to friction. Having said that, we can apply the Bernoulli equation to explain in detail the different phases of water movement. I'm going to apply the Bernoulli equation at point C. PC by RHOG, which is pressure, plus VC squared, which is velocity, by 2G plus the height, which in the scheme is Z1. So I get the total head. That is the total pressure of water at point C while it is entering into the pump. Very similar is the application of Bernoulli equation at point D, which is the point where the water is leaving the pump. So the equation will be PD by RHOG plus VD squared by 2G plus Z2. So, to calculate the total head of the pump, I have to subtract from the total head of water leaving the pump, the total head of water at point C. So, HD minus HC. What I get is PD by RHOG minus PC by RHOG plus VD squared minus VC squared by 2G plus Z2 minus Z1. So I will get H. HA value from this scheme represents the total head of water at point A. At this point, the pressure head of the water is zero, because this point is open to the atmosphere. Also, the velocity of water is zero, 
because in this point, water is not moving. The distance between point A of the lower reservoir and point F of the upper reservoir is HS, which is known as static head. Also, at point F of the upper reservoir, the water is open to the atmosphere, so its pressure head is zero. The total height is H, in this case, is HA plus HS. Having said that, it is possible to determine a relation between H and HS applying Bernoulli equation at point A and at point C. Like I said already, the water pressure at point A is zero plus its velocity, which is always zero plus HA. The result is the head at C, so PC by RHO G plus VC square by 2G plus Z1. But I've already seen that between point C and point A, there are some losses due to the water entering in the suction pipe, point A, and due to friction inside the suction pipe, point C. So, the equation is complete writing Z1 plus H inlet plus HF1, which is the friction in the suction pipe. Now, I have to apply the Bernoulli equation at point D and point F. I've already found out the total head at point D, which is PD by RHO G plus VD square by 2G plus Z2, which is zero. And which is the pressure of water at point F plus the velocity, which is zero, plus the height, which is HS plus HA. But I've already seen that between point D and point F there are some losses, which are HF2, that is the loss due to friction in the delivery pipe, plus HE, that is the loss due to water leaving the delivery pipe to enter in the upper reservoir. So, now I replace H of this equation with HF2 of this equation. What I get is H equals HS plus H inlet plus HF1 plus HF2 plus HE. I get this because the difference between this value and this value is H, which is the total head of the centrifugal pump. Now I can write H equals HS plus summation of all losses. I really hope you find this video helpful, and if you like it, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.